Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FC24 is out. Road to the knockouts are in packs. We've got SBCs. we got content flowing. But the question of the day is, what has EA done to this market? Prices went down yesterday as expected, but they stayed down. And yesterday was one of the most dead days of content, really, that I think I've experienced on a first day of a global release of a brand new Ultimate Team Ever. So we're going to break it down today because there are a lot of cool cards and there are some market movements we can profit off of and maybe even a little bit of positivity with the market as some prices are actually starting to go up just a little bit heading in today on Saturday. But yesterday's content did not leave a nice taste in a lot of people's mouths. So we're going to discuss it all today and also what could happen today on this game on a Saturday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content because there was a fair amount, but not as much as we were really expecting or hoping to see. Now, the leaked SBC did come true. Bruno Guimaraesh. Guys, the price is the problem with this SBC. It's got an 87 rated squad inside of it. Only a week to get it done. I just can't imagine that most people on this game right now, A, want to do an SBC of this price, B, because they don't have the coins to do it, and C, the upgrade potential for this Bruno Gamerush, of course it's there, but they're in the group of death, guys, right? Newcastle's in the group of death, and it's going to be really difficult for this Bruno G to get upgrades, and that's one of the reasons why I think a lot of people are skipping on the SBC is coming in at just over 200,000 coins with not a lot of us having enough fodder to get this done right away. Yes, it's good links. Yes, it could be a cracked card. But if you think about it, these upgrades, as we look to the end of the knockout stages, as EA once again have said, and it actually says in the description of every single card, you get two upgrades right one for winning two matches in the group stage and qualifying for the next round i mean honestly he's not going to go to an 88 if he does at all which is going to be very difficult for him to do until probably what december is that when the group stages are over and it's really decided right unless there's a clear cut uh you know move and newcastle go all the way through the group of death and win two games and they unanimous unanimously make it through then he would get an upgrade earlier but it's just going to be a long time and by the time that card gets upgraded to be an 88 if and when he does there's going to be other cards in the game at his level or above it in my opinion so that's the problem with this SBC they picked a great player they just didn't deliver that's the problem right Bruno Guimaraes Newcastle Prem a Brazilian great player they just didn't deliver with this SBC but it's not terrible if you want to do it I'm not trying to say you can't do it at all he could be a really good card if you run a prem side if you have fodder in the next week you could get it done it just doesn't stick out to me as a must do and it's a little bit lackluster for kind of what we were hoping I still think the best SBC in this game right now for a player is probably the James Madison player of the month for a lot of people I think that is the best now also an objectives we had the Geo Reyna that was leaked as well. This is nice. Evidently, it wasn't counting right away, but it's pretty easy to get done. Throw some Bundesliga players in the squad. I think you have to use an American player as well to assist some through balls. It can all be done in squad battles. You get a couple packs along the way, and you get yourself an 84-rated center attacking mid-Geo Reyna. At least do the find the lane for the XP, because you get some XP inside of this, um, which is not too bad. So yeah, that was kind of all the content we had in SBCs and objectives. I think our biggest question was, Where's the evolutions, EA? Um, like, a lot of us have done maybe the Golden Glow Up, which I'm working on right now. Maybe you've done Pacey Protector. Maybe you've done every single evolution so far. Uh, and you're like, where where are we getting the other ones? When are the other ones coming out? Are those going to be a part of Friday content drops or not? Because EA said we're getting 12 different evolutions inside of this season. And right now, we definitely have not had even half of those. So we're expecting more evolutions to come soon. Will they be today or... When are those evolutions going to actually drop? We really just don't know. That's something that we're going to have to kind of learn as we go through on this week, this year. And I'm hoping for one of those today. But I was thinking we were going to get those on promo Fridays. But evidently, that is not the case. Now, the cards that are in packs, guys. Evidently, EA Sports put all the cards, including the mini release, into the concept yesterday. So the squad that we looked at on the video yesterday was actually the full team and if we go and take a look at that squad right now not all those players are in packs you might be wondering Nate where is that great um where's this lamer card right he is not in the game right now he's a part of the mini release Dodo is in the mini release as well um as uh, Mertens is not in packs right now and Pedro Gonsalves that is the mini release those four cards are believed to be coming into packs either today 
or tomorrow on Sunday. And this Lamer was one that a lot of people were really interested in. But, of course, he's not out, so we're disappointed. Like, where are those guys at? They are just not here because they're in the menu release. And that's just a disappointment because of the EA putting those in concepts. We thought they were going to be in packs. Now, for the team that is in packs right now, guys, I don't know if I've ever seen a set of promo cards start out so rare on the market. Openda is like almost extinct. He was extinct at 290,000 coins. EA updated his price range. Same with Sokka. Sokka's price range was 550,000 coins and they had to reset it to 1.1 mil and he's almost at the top of his price range here. Guys, these are all very, very expensive. I think Bruno is overpriced. Sokka overpriced. Osaman is too much in value. Diaz is too much in, in value. I mean, a lot of these cards to me just look too expensive for their own right. I know they're getting upgrades. I know this is the beginning of the year and I don't know how EA did the pack with this yesterday and I really haven't even looked at the pack odds, but I can't imagine that they're that good because these guys are so rare on the market, which actually makes them pretty good to trade with. And I was making a considerable amount of coins on these cards yesterday, but a UCL Road of the Knockouts player, 1.2%. And the rest of the card types less than 1% from a 50k pack, which includes 183 plus player inside of it. That's wild. That's a very, very low, low pack percentage for this promo team. And I think that's why the prices are so high. I'm being very careful with these. If you're thinking about investing, I would not do that yet. I would definitely wait until later on into the week. These are popular cards that people like to invest in because they're live and they get upgrades. But I think we're going to push that off until later on in the week for sure based on how rare they are right now. Now, speaking of the store and prices on the market a little bit, as we get into talking about this, it's two things with the store, actually. The first thing is, all was going kind of okay yesterday. It was kind of an L day, very mid. There was a lot of market action. You could have made a lot of coins if you were very active in trading and bidding and stuff like that. Then the EA dropped three hours after content, this 50K pack, and prices were actually starting to rebound in some areas. I remember like, maybe I can check out the graph and it'll show you, but Tamori was a gold card that actually had gone from being 79K at content, he dropped down with the supply to 70, 72,000 coins. He went all the way back to just about 80K. And then EA dropped this pack and these guys went back down again. Now, not as low as they maybe did before, but a lot of cards. Uh, Alex Morgan was another one that I was watching kind of price wise. She's actually rebounding in price now, but like, boom, he went up here to 39 and just kept dropping further and further and further all in under 32,000 coins. And now you're finally starting to see a little bit of market bounce back. But this, along with all the other saved up pack supply that was dropped yesterday, it did give us the drop in prices that we were expecting. But that, you know, three hours after content, those 50K packs were a bit of surprise in the store there. And the other thing I want to mention to you guys, I actually opened the pack um, and it's, it's not here anymore. But there was a 10,000 coin pack that is no longer here because I opened it. But there's a compensation situation, and I do believe it has been updated and fixed, so it's not working anymore. But there was a 10,000 coin, I think it's called like the Nano Season Opener Pack or something like that. And evidently, the first 86 plus player pick that was listed as a loan in all other languages, in Danish, it did not say loan. And evidently, EA have gone to this pack now and updated it in the Danish language. So if you open that pack and you switch your region or your um, in your language, not your region, to um, Danish, you probably am get, are getting this pack compensated. Now, we'll have to see if EA tweet about it. It's probably going to take weeks, uh, or they maybe just compensate you the 86-plus player picks. I don't know, but it's crazy that it was the first day of FC24 Ultimate Team, and we had a compensation situation. So that was wild uh, that we had that. I know some people were taking advantage of that, and it was only 10,000 coins, so it wasn't that big of a risk, but we'll see what comes of that. I actually got a couple good cards from mine and a good loan as well so i was pretty happy with it and speaking of cards that i've been trading with on the market right now guys i made three hundred and seventy-five thousand coins yesterday trading three cards if you're trading and you have at least like two three four hundred thousand coins on this market right now trading with heroes icons and the new promo cards is insane i bought this bruno fernandez at 5 30 10 minutes later, he was 770 because of the rarity of this card. I bought this Rudy Voller for 620K, sold it for 770. That was a fantastic flip there. And then just a couple hours ago, I bought Luis Diaz for 700. 
and sold them for 819k. Uh, food trade, De Bruyne, these are small flips. I actually lost coins on Diani. If you guys are watching the stream, I bought Diani for like 120, sold her for 124 so that I could get coins to go buy this Bruno. So as we were saying in the stream, Diani walked so Bruno could run in terms of the coin value. And then I invested in some other stuff. I invested in some Prem cards and some other golds like the Alex Morgan that you just saw there. I just sold one because prices have actually gone back up here in the last couple of hours. If you looked at the graph, right? Morgan was 32,000 coins. She's now 37K. And you know a card that's actually rising a lot right now is gold Kevin De Bruyne. Guys, the cards that are going up right now on this market the most are the very high rated rare cards, right? They're the most rare. And they're also the ones that people are wanting to add to their teams because they're getting coins. And it's actually starting to show a little bit of life on this market. But yesterday before we had that happening, we had the drop-off that we expected. As we said in yesterday's video, I was expecting a drop-off on basically everything. The low tier, uh, like Darwin Nunez is now 12,000 coins after he was, uh, of course, dropping all morning. But you can see he was 17K before the content drop and got absolutely destroyed by all of the supply. Now, what we didn't expect yesterday was that these cards were just going to kind of stay stagnant. Like it's, it's like they dropped and they stayed there or they barely moved. Like Usman was 213. He went up a little bit, but he's been between 210 and, and 220 this whole entire time. And it's just like cards have been really stagnant. And we thought that prices were really just going to explode maybe an hour or two hours after content as everybody was going to get coins, go back out and start buying cards for their teams. And that really did not happen. Well, it's starting to happen a little bit, but it's kind of just begging the question, is this market ever going to rise? Like, are we actually ever going to see prices go up to maybe what they were last week? For you guys that were on the early access version of the game, we had some card prices that were like some cards are down 20, 30, 40% from where they were at that time. And we're just kind of trying to think now, like, are we actually going to see and Kunku, who is 70,000 coins, go back to 100k that he was like is that ever going to happen or have ea manufactured the market this year so that there's a lot of supply coming in are, like are these gold cards going to stay this cheap for like ever like it's really we're really trying to figure this market out guys because after yesterday it's really kind of a, a head scratcher and it's kind of confusing ea's running the market very interestingly this year with all the store packs and stuff like that and also there's a lot of traders on it that are trying to make coins but it just seems like it's not even that it's the supply of the cards on the market that just inhibits them from moving that much now hopefully that does change right not all hope is lost because as you can see i've gotten a couple sales here um, i sold a couple alex morgans and i'm taking a little bit of the cash as i see these prices go up because the market really for the past couple of days has just dropped into the midday. So it kind of peaks in the midday time, UK, and then it starts dropping off as you get into the afternoon, into the evening towards content. So I picked up some Atomas at like 25,000 coins. If I can get some sales, what am I selling right now? Is it Alex Morgan? Wow, Alex Morgan is flying. I guess I listed too low, but I'm picking up some sales on those cars just because I'm taking the quick cash guys. And that's one thing that I've learned so much in the last couple of days is if you're trading, Take the quick flips. But if you bought a card to hold for your team, it does feel like this market is a lot more stable and a lot more safe than it was. I'm keeping an eye on the Harry Kane Inform right now. I mean, Informs, guys, actually interest me a lot on this game at the moment because they're not getting supplied as much as they would in previous years because of the weekend league rewards. But as I showed you the Kevin De Bruyne uh, graph, it looks like a lot of your top tier meta cards maybe are just starting to slide upwards in price, which is so nice to see and it's starting with the most top tier rare cards bon mati was like 220 230k she's still right around 240 right for that card right there rashford's card price has started to go up even a card that's very popular and very meta but it's not very high rated musa diaby was down to 50,000 coins yesterday during all the madness he is now up to 54k and starting to rise Griezmann's starting to rise a little bit. It's kind of interesting to look through a few of these graphs and see what cards are moving up. It's mostly higher tier, higher rated, and just very popular cards. A lot of Premier League cards. Tonali was, I mean, he was just 100K, so that might have been undercut. Yeah, he's 98,000 coins. So that bodes well for the market, but it definitely doesn't feel like we're 
out of the mud or we're out of the danger. Yeah, it feels like this market's still in a pretty sketchy place. So that's why I'm treating it with caution and taking some of these quick flips where I can on the Alex Morgan selling for 5k up from where I bought it, bought it 32 selling for 37. She might go to 40k plus today, right? Maybe the market really is going to turn a, coin, a quarter today and prices are going to start to go up and keep going up. But it's still I have this feeling that it has been over the past couple of days of just the market's just stagnant and kind of mudded. And it's really just like, what has EA done to this market? It's confusing. It's hard to understand, but we're working through it every single day. And honestly, if it's going to continue to be like it is right now, I don't see a lot of cards really dropping a ton today. Honestly, think about it, right? The major amount of supply that we have had is gone. So if you have a meta top tier card, kind of like with those KDBs that we're looking at, maybe looking at a, a high 80s to 90 rated card, Poteas, uh, Kavicha even is insanely cheap. What a card for 28,000 coins. Uh, Rodrigo, Musiala. I mean, Rodrigo seems a little overpriced for me, I'll be completely honest. When Rafinha is 38K, Rodrigo is 80K. I'm just saying, he seems a little bit expensive to me. But in Cuckoo seems low to me still. Ronaldo seems low to me still. Um, you know, Griezmann a little bit cheap as well. Varane, one of the best center backs in the game. I still think these cards are going to maintain their prices. And hopefully with the big supply that is gone, it's now just people are gaining coins. People are building up their ultimate teams. And they're going to be able to upgrade to those bigger and better cards. And we'll finally see those metas rising up in price more today. Now, it also does depend on the content today as well. We'll have to see what it is, but Saturdays often bring us player SBCs, and I would not be surprised if we had another player SBC today. Now, I don't know if it'd be a road to the final player SBC. I don't know if it would be a player moments or, you know, there was a couple other car designs added to the code, like a record breakers. That'd be sick if we got a record breakers player SBC today. So I think there's potential for something along those lines, maybe a pack SBC as well. Remember last weekend, we got like the Reds SBC and the blue and reds for PSG and Liverpool. Maybe something along those lines would come out as well. I don't know if we're getting any more player of the month, guys, but today could be a player of the month opportunity as well since we had the Bundesliga and Prem. Since we have the voting already for September, um, player of the month for La Liga, which a lot of people are pointing towards Jude. He also won August, so I don't know if they're going to give out an August SBC, but I guess that is worth mentioning as well. And my biggest question for today is, are we going to get evolutions content? I think that would be something that would really, I mean, that would jumpstart some movement on the market as well. Obviously, if they drop a new evolution, guys, what you're going to want to do is see who the most meta popular, like Darwin Nunez, Werner, Danjuma, and Ansu Fati are all very popular for evolutions right now. If they drop a new evolution today on Saturday, there's going to be movements on the market because of that. And you'd want to take note right away. And you'd probably want to get interested in investing in a card or at least at least kind of watching a card and say, okay, this guy might be really good for evolutions. I want to get involved here. This might be a card that I could buy and see appreciate in value. If you make that call really, really quick. So that's content that I really, really hope that we see today. Now, if you're trying to trade today on this game, from what I've seen that works the most, stay away from gold cards if you're literally just trying to trade. The only thing I would do with gold cards, guys, is two things. Number one, I would trade with the SBC solutions because new players are back on the game. I've seen it for myself. The players inside of these solutions are fluctuating once again, and it is working pretty well. You just, again, have to find the players that move. I think even uh, this Shures card is one. Look at the non-rares. The non-rares, um, they move a bit better because they're not supplied as much. You can see this card went to 3.5K yesterday, right? And he hasn't gone over, like, what was it, Wednesday he hasn't gone over 800 coins in the past couple of days or 1,000 coins since Tuesday. And Shures went all the way to 3.5K yesterday. So watch out for the SBC Solution Trades. That is back in. As we mentioned, it was going to be. It is back, and it's great, and it's working. So I would trade with those. And then also, guys, get on bids. Every day, we're going to have the store packs refresh again today, right? Whatever packs they're going to bring back that are tradable. The 50K pack, I believe, expires. Today, it does, along with the 25 and the 45. They're going to bring new ones back in. That's going to bring some new supplies. People are going to be opening FC points to get some of those packs open to try to make some coins. Get on bids, guys. Fodder is a great place to look, especially if it's kind of like usable fodder. Um, some of these players that are pretty cheap, like Odegaard's one of the cheapest 87s at 9K. He's definitely usable. Same thing with Kimmich. And you can get these guys on bid for one, two, three thousand 3,000 coins less than what they actually go for and then quickly list them up. That was a way a lot of people were making coins yesterday on this game. And um, also today, if you're on a bit of a higher budget, as I mentioned, heroes, icons, and the road to the knockout cards 
fluctuate a ton, especially heroes yesterday. I sold this food trade before content because I needed some coins and I'm glad that I did. Food trade ended up going way higher, but I've, I've seen so many hero prices fluctuate over the past 24 hours and they're fluctuating a lot. Like this McManaman seems to go between 140 and 160 all the time. And that's making good profit every single time you can make a good flip like that, especially if it's happening multiple times per day. So watch the market, guys. Wow, these are 230. Interesting. That card's pretty low. Um, just click through a lot of the heroes. Start looking at footbin graphs on informs as well, because informs that are out of packs from team of the week one actually had some pretty good fluctuations yesterday. Karchawi goes between like 170 and 190. Lewandowski between like 150 and 170. Doku, Lamptey, Dybala, they all fluctuate a bit in price. Even some of the Mad Ready cards, um, you know, VVD was 250. He went up to 280. Um, I think Chiesa was 40K. Now he's 52. Sam Kirk was under 200 and is now over that. So those more rare cards seem to be fluctuating a good amount and you can actually trade with them pretty well uh, as well. So that's probably a safer place to be on the market today. But hopefully... Today is just a signal of, of signs to come, right? Of a market that is a lot more healthy and with more coins and more players on the game, we start to see some prices actually appreciate in value and not just every day we look at the market and prices are going down and down and down. So that's the hope for today, but this market seems to be very, I don't know, different from previous years. We're going to continue to monitor it, cover it every single day. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy the game. I know weekend's big for gaming. Enjoy Rivals. Enjoy the actual football games today as well. Watch out for Team of the Week contender performances. There will be people that will be ready to invest if somebody scores one or two goals. Get on the market if they have a high middle to high tier meta player. That could be something you invest in for an out of packs investment. Because once again, I heard a couple people commenting on yesterday's video. Gold cards do go out of packs, guys. Gold Bruno Fernandez is out of packs right now. Gold Luis Diaz is out of packs. When the promo cards are in, the leak from earlier is wrong. Gold cards are out of packs. They're not in at the exact same time. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Peace. Out.